is going on YouTube? Yes, I'm talking to you, YouTube. It's the Piano Guy, and I'm just in the house. I want to give you a quick video, and what is it? It is my top five favorite non-Jordans. Yeah, I can give you the top ten, top five Jordans. I want to do something just a little bit different. So, here is my top five favorite non-Jordan sneakers in my collection. Now, I got three honorable mentions, but I, when I looked at them, I, I just couldn't bump the top five. So, I'm going to give you the three honorable mentions, and then I'm going to show you my top five. These just quite didn't make the cut for the top five. First, honorable mention, I got the LeBron $12 trillion Mans. I really like this sneaker. The colors are seriously dope. The foam posit material that's on there. Um, like I say, the colorway, the laces, I love the laces, the silver tips on the um, on the, um, the lace tips, really dope sneaker, but I just couldn't bump one of my top five because I like them better, but honorable mention, the 12, LeBron 12 trillion dollar mans. Also, on the honorable mention list, couldn't quite bump that top five. These Patrick Ewing highs and this black and white and this silver colorway with the red. Dope sneaker. Really, 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 really. How many times am I going to say really? Really like this sneaker, but I just couldn't bump one of the top fives. I have worn this sneaker, as you can see, one time, and I really like this colorway. The black, white, and red going on and the silver right there on the tongue, but I just couldn't bump, got that 33 high on the back, I just couldn't bump one of the top five. Next, I really like this sneaker, but I just couldn't bump one of the top five. The Kobe Bryant, the Adidas Crazy 8. Man, I really like this sneaker. Dope sneaker. I love this particular colorway, man. Look at those soles. I really, really, really like this sneaker, but I just couldn't bump one of the top five. And so it made the honorable mention list. Now for that top five. Now in this top five will not be my Nike Kobe AD, my Nike ID. I, I just didn't think that would be fair to have my Nike ID, you know, the Kobe AD that I just did. The other review on and showed you that unboxing I just didn't feel like it would be fair to put that in the top five so I excluded that one from the list so my top five that's why you won't see that in there it's not because I don't love the shoe don't love the sneaker I mean I really really like it over some of these others but it's not fair so I didn't include it in the top five I just excluded it all together from consideration so number five I really think this sneaker is dope the LeBron 12 Entourage in the photo blue colorway. I just think the colors, the just the makeup of this sneaker, the foam posit material, um, the icy blue soles on the bottom, the colors. I just think this is a really slick, clean looking sneaker. I just really like the way it's put together. So the LeBron 12 entourage in the photo blue color is number five number four I really like this sneaker and it's not an OG colorway but the silhouette of the sneaker is an OG silhouette and that is the penny two in the Miami heat colorway man if you ever felt this sneaker in person the materials on here to me is ten times better than the materials on the OG colorway, that blue one, and then the white one. Just uh, the craftsmanship on this sneaker, the colors, uh, the new bug on here feels awesome. Uh, down here on the throat, coming down the tongue and the throat, how it changes that color, has that black and white type mesh, uh, like nylon material in there. It's just seriously dope. The penny on the side and the red and yellow, the Miami Heat colorway. So. The Penny 2 in the Miami Heat colorway is number 4. Number 3, I really like this sneaker. 
Um, I just like the colors of it. I just like the concept of the sneaker. So number three is the Kobe AD Oregon Ducks. I just think the back is dope. The tongue. The wings on the side. Man, I just think this is such a clean sneaker. Them soles on the bottom. Just, I just think this sneaker was just very nicely done uh, with the colors. I know it's not the uh, green that a lot of people was hoping for in the Oregon Duck um, sneaker, but I just like this color, man. I like this colorway. And so this is number three, the Kobe Bryant AD Oregon Ducks. Now we're getting now to the top two. Top two, some people would probably flip these in order, but... I thought about it and I made my final decision. So number two on the list is an OG colorway, OG silhouette. Here you have it. The Allen Iverson question mid, the blue toes. This is the sneaker that he was wearing when he crossed up, put the shake on MJ, Michael Jordan, on the GOAT himself, and he dropped that deuce right here. Icy blue soles, very good leather quality. I just, I just think it's a really dope sneaker, classic sneaker. But there you have it, number two, the Question Mid, the Allen Iverson Question Mid Blue Toe, number two. Number one, I just picked this sneaker, man. I really, really like this sneaker, man. I just love the colors on it, and I just love it, man. I really like this sneaker. And the craftsmanship of it, man, the guy that wore it. So here it is, number one of my top five non-Jordan favorite sneakers is the Patrick Ewing 1992 Olympic the Eclipse. Yes, the Patrick Ewing Eclipse, the 1992 Olympic sneaker. Look at that shoe. Look at the tongue, man. Has Patrick Ewan's number that he wore in the Olympics. Patrick Ewan, the number six. The little gold basketball silhouette. 1992. Clips on the back. If you pull that up, look at that. You got Patrick Ewan's number. Right there. Just a dope sneaker. And then it's red, white, and blue. The United States of America. I just love it. Patrick Ewing on the back. The soles. You see it right there with the basketball. It says Ewing across there. Ewing. And then the number six. So I just think this sneaker is just so clean to me. And the quality of the material. The craftsmanship of it, man. You don't see a bunch of glue marks, man. Yes, it is like a synthetic leather upper. Um, nylon tongue. Man, but just the, the, just the craftsmanship. The silhouette, the OG, old school, man, bulky, old school, big tongue. There it is, the Patrick Ewing Eclipse, the 1992 Olympic sneaker. That is my top number one favorite of my non-Jordan sneakers that are in my collection. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed just this quick video just showing you some some of my favorite non-Jordan sneakers. Hey, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, like button, hit the notifications bell, drop some comments below, keep watching my channel, keep watching out for new videos. If you haven't seen all the other ones, watch them, check them out, let me know what you're thinking, drop some comments, and once again, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and hit the thumbs up, like button. This is the Piano Guy, till next, Time.